This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Interesting question here uh, from Matthew. He wants to know, did Arn have a favorite or least favorite guest host for raw? Once upon a time, as a reminder, they used to bring in celebrities, mainstream names, and they would be the guest host of raw. And they had a lot of different folks, uh, William Shatner and Betty Davis, and Kevin Federline, and boy, they had a lot of silly ones, but there were probably some that were fun and, and you enjoyed and others that just for whatever reason, rubbed you the wrong way. You got anything? Bob Barker was tremendous. Yes, he was. He absolutely, you know, when the camera wasn't rolling, he was fit right in. He was having a great time and he was respectful of the business, but he, he was there. He got it. He was there just to have fun and, and he was having fun with the boys and, you know, it, it was, it was tremendous. Um, I think when Hollywood people come to our shows and they're on raw or SmackDown or whatever the case may be, or WrestleMania, they're in a tough spot because our fans are there to see wrestlers and wrestling. Would you agree? Yeah. They don't like the Hollywood people coming in. They don't necessarily watch their shows. Uh, one uh, that really stood out to me. I couldn't believe it. Uh, what is the guy that is married to Sophia for for Gara? Is that her name? He's the young guy. He was on like the HBO thing. Uh, what was it? First Blood. Played a. Played like the werewolf, you know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah, Joe, whatever his name is. Joe Mag Mag Magniola. Or yeah, 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 yeah. Good jacked up, handsome guy, right? Yep. Got a smoking hot wife. <laughs> <laughs> and got a great career going for himself. And they booed him out of the building in yep. L.A. I couldn't believe it. I went, come on, guys, lighten up. This guy's got it going on, apparently. And it's just, uh, they're going to get a tough shake. So I think probably all of them, you know, William Shatner's been around enough that he's got, he's part of the family, I guess, by now recognized as being, cause he's been on the show several times. You ever meet Dennis Haskins, the Mr. Belding from saved by the bell. He used to hang around a lot of wrestling shows. Yes. Yes. God, what a nice man. He used to be sitting on the crates in LA in the back. When you would walk by, you had to go past him to get to the locker room, always a congenial guy. And it was, you know, me, I'm a mark for everything. Anyway, I'm walking by and I catch him out of the corner of my eye. And I went, damn, I know him. I know who that is. And he just stopped me before I got there. He went, Hey, are da, 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 so-and-so, so-and-so. Oh, okay. I, God, I knew I'd recognize that face. But you're, you know, backstage in LA, you're like, you're liable to see anybody roaming around back there. It's, yeah. Pretty cart, pretty much cart blanche. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.